커플소 문화세 작전, 인도알리아 프로젝트 2021년 5월과 9월 두 번의 전용기를 타고 약 550명의 인도 유대인이 이스라엘로 알리하는 프로젝트 현재 인도에는 문화세 지파의 후손인 유대인이 살고 있습니다. 지난 5월 인도에 발생한 심각한 코로나 바이러스 사태에 대응해 GC 에이전시는 이스라엘 단체인 샤베이 이스라엘과 함께 550여 명의 문화세 지파 후손 유대인들을 이스라엘로 알리아 시키기로 결정했습니다. 이번 인도 알리아는 코뿔소 문화세 작전이라는 프로젝트로 진행되며 비행기 값을 한국의 월드브릿지 미션에서 감당하게 되었습니다. 이번 코뿔소 문화세 작전 인도 알리아 프로젝트에 관련하여 GC 에이전시 총 부국장 샤이의 인터뷰를 들어보시겠습니다. I'm very happy to speak with you again today about the coming Aliyah from India of Bene a m i n a s h e This is a joint venture that we are doing together with the organization of Shavei Israel. This is actually the first time that the Jewish agency is taking part in this important mission together with Shavei Israel. Next week, we're going to have 275 Olim coming from India, from Bene a m i n a s h e and Three months after, we have another 275 coming to Israel. So more than 500 Olim coming to us. Bnei a m e n a s h e are a distant tribe of uh, the Jews that have arrived to India many, many, many years ago, hundreds of years ago. But they came and they preserved their Jewish life. synagogue, keeping kosher, and their aim was always to come to Israel. So together with the uh, Shavei Israel and together with other Jewish uh, agency uh, organizations and together with the government of Israel, uh, we have set up a plan where in India itself, they are studying and they are preparing themselves on Judaism and other topics. So when the decision will come, they're going to be ready to make Aliyah. And finally, this moment has arrived and they've been approved uh, to make Aliyah after the long process that they have gone. They are very motivated to come to Israel. They invest time and effort in preparing themselves, in getting to know about Israel, Hebrew, and other uh, needs of Judaism. The El Al plane that we took together with Shavei Israel will bring them. Once they will arrive to Israel, they will have to go to quarantine, like everyone who's coming to Israel for a couple of days. They're going to have a three months program where they're going to study Judaism. They're going to study about Israel, Hebrew, prayer, Bible. Uh, it will be done uh, by Shavei Israel. And we're going to finish this program. They will go to different cities in Israel. This group is aiming to go to Nofa Galil, what was previously known as Nazarat Elite, Nazareth. We know that they will be citizens of the Israeli society. They will join the army. They will benefit from Israel, and we will benefit from them. I'm saying that, but we have to, rem to remember that there's COVID going in India, uh, difficult COVID going there still. But regardless to the COVID situation in India, uh, the government of Israel, together with the Jewish agency and Shavei Israel, have made a decision to bring them. And I think that shows all the time that Israel is here for the Olim. In 2020, in the peak of COVID around the world, Israel brought 21,500 Olim. It's amazing. The sky was never closed in Israel for Olim. For other people, yes. For even for Israelis that couldn't return home. But for the Olim, for the immigrants, we always said, we'll do no matter what, we'll bring you to Israel. So this group from India will be joining the Olim that already came. There's more than 7,300 Olim that already arrived. to Israel up to now, including more than 2,155 Olim that came from Ethiopia that the Jewish agency have brought in Operation Sur Israel that you also supported. So Aliyah never stopped. 
Alia is continuing despite the challenges that you have and together with our partners, the government of Israel, Shavei Israel, we are excited to meet them next week in the airport. In terms of the challenges, I think that COVID is a challenge. I think to come to Israel during those times is a challenge. But from my point of view, they are Olim like every Olim. Therefore, we're going to invest the Hebrew, which is highly important for them. And the first three months that they will be here in Israel, by learning, we're going to prepare themselves for the full integration that they will need to do when they finish the program. It's a soft landing, I would say, that they're getting from Shavei Israel, which is, which is important. Now, they're coming from a different culture. They're different from different background. If you ask me, for example, a challenge, so a lot of the Olim that are coming from Western country, let's say from France or from North America, usually have visited Israel before. Those Olim have never came to Israel. They have relatives, though, but they never came. They saw Israeli only pictures. So for them, you have to remember how much ex they're and excited to come, but they don't know where they're coming until they're going to see Israel. So that's a challenge. How to prepare them and how to see what they came is what they're expected. So I think this is a challenge and to absorb them, to absorb them in society, in Israel society. But I know how much they're motivated they are and they will join the IDF and they will find jobs and employment is a challenge for every Ole. We're going to help them together with the municipality of Nofa Galil and with Shavei Israel for jobs and for other uh, programs. Um, so I think this is, this is a huge opportunity, not only a challenge, uh, and together with our partners, we will be there for them. Bnei Menashe used to come to Israel in previous years, but actually the government of Israel have approached us and they asked us to be involved. And we met with Shavei Israel and the organization and we learned that Bringing Olim, whatever you bring them to Israel, is part of our mission. And so I think we are now getting into it, uh, never too late, if you ask me, because there are more that are waiting to come. This group of Olim that are coming next week and the following after three months is not finished. There will be other Olim coming. So I think that the Jewish Agency, together with Shavei Israel, is starting a long-term program for helping and assisting more Olim to come. I want to say again, thank you. And I think that thank you maybe is not enough for our friends in Korea, for our donors in Korea. I know how much effort and how much you work very hard to fundraise and how much you care for the Jewish people. From the bottom of my heart and the Jewish agency, I want to say thank you again for helping us bringing them home. Thank you very much, Justin, and thank you for all our friends in Korea. תודה רבה. ירו ברין בנסה ג'יפה יחסוני תורה ונן ירא תומצא מג'וסיה. הנה נימי מלסמן ג'גם דו סנצ'ו דגו איסמידה. Israel, oh, good, now, oh.